Hey guys, so today I thought it'd be fun if I do this tag that's like going around on YouTube. It's called the Lipstick Addict Tag and I thought it was really fun. And it was actually created by a girl on YouTube that I really, really enjoy watching and her name is Essie Button and I think someone else. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to kind of just jump on the bandwagon and do this. Um, so I have like a list of questions here that I'm going to, this is actually going to help me organize how this is going to go otherwise I mean it was difficult just deciding what lipstick to choose um, I have a lipstick addict seriously like it's beyond me I can't deal it you know what it is it's like I can't even talk I just I love lipsticks I mean there's so many shades out there so many different textures and so many just beautiful packaging and I am a sucker for packaging and I'm a sucker for limited edition lipsticks um, and I just I just love buying lipsticks I do I do I have a lipstick addiction um, okay let me get back to this so the first question is what is your favorite balm or treatment um, I've got to say Tarte I think a lip exfoliator is like crucial like everyone should have a lip exfoliator because when you apply lipstick and your your lips are chapped or dry, it's just the lipstick is not going to look right. So it's really important to have a lip exfoliator and a really good balm. And as far as balm goes, I have a lot and it was really difficult to choose from that too. But the one, I just chose like the one that I'm like currently obsessed with. And it's one from the body shop and it's really, really, the packaging is really cool. It's like really interesting. It's like, it looks like a mushroom. Um, but it just it's cranberry flavor. It's called cranberry joy And this was actually like a Christmas thing, but I've ended up buying like four of these because you know It was Christmas and limited edition <laughs> um, But I was really obsessed with the smell and that's the reason why I got four and I got like a really good deal um, but this <sighs> It just smells so good. Okay next question Best eye-catching red. So I ended up going for this one. This is the Givenchy. Um, and it's a beautiful packaging. It's black leather. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. Um, the outside. And the inside is also amazing. It's like this really like true red. Like, I don't even have to put my hand back here. Like, you guys can see it. It's so beautiful. It's such a like perfect shade of red. And what I love about this lipstick is the texture it's like very rich very moisturizing um, and it stays on like I cannot even tell you like how much I love this lipstick it's it's definitely a beautiful beautiful shade of red and the name of this is 306 Carmen es Escarpin I don't know that's what it says beautiful shade let's see the next one luxury and best drugstore okay so this was a bit tricky because i have many options and it was kind of hard to choose from especially drugstore like i have tons of drugstore because you can't go wrong with drugs, drugstore lipsticks but i ended up going with this revlon black cherry because it's such a beautiful shade of like deep red but what i love about it is that everyone owns this lipstick like it's incredible and if you don't you have to this thing is like super cheap and well, it's not that super cheap. I think it's like eight or nine dollars. But I mean, it's it's pretty affordable for a lipstick. But the texture of this is amazing. Like it's very smooth, very rich. The color is very intense. For what you pay for, it's a really great lipstick. Um, and and I just love, I love, I love this color. And the reason why I say I feel like a lot of people have this lipstick because when I wear it, like people either ask if I'm wearing Diva by Mac or Black Cherry. Like it's it's kind of like a color that everyone knows. So um, yeah, so I definitely definitely love this shade, and I recommend it because it's a really nice lipstick. All right, the next one is best. Oh wait, I didn't even say my luxury. For best luxury, I ended up choosing Tom Ford, and this is the shade Sable Smoke, and it's like the perfect for me you know that's the thing nude lipsticks even though they're nude and you, you would think that they look good on everyone they don't you have to like find the perfect nude shade like it's it was really difficult for me to find the perfect nude shade and even i had this lipstick for a while this actually was given by my best friend um and i ha i've had it for a while and i never really cared 
so much about it until one day I was just like, let me try it on. And from then on, like, it has been my most favorite nude lipstick ever. Another shade that I really like from Tom Ford is also the um, Spanish pink. Oh my goodness, guys. It's the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. And I haven't had a chance to go pick it up. One, mainly because of the price. I these lipsticks go for like almost 60 bucks. It's crazy. Just trying to like enjoy what I have for now and then we'll see. We'll see. But definitely when I want to treat myself, that's definitely going to be a lipstick that I will pick up. Okay, next question. Best MAC lipstick. I'm going to go with MAC Rebel. Um, I just think it's the prettiest, most beautiful shade. I think it's like, it looks like when you went like from the packaging, it looks like it's really like deep and dark and like burgundy-ish but when you apply it, it's like this beautiful like burgundy like purple shade it's just a beautiful beautiful lipstick it's definitely like one of my favorites um i love love this lipstick and that is why i'm choosing it let's see i mean you can't go wrong with mac, li MAC lipsticks so they have like every shade in the world and then their quality are like pretty amazing okay so the most disappointing, I am going to go with this Rimmel uh, Long Lasting by Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 107. And the reason why I'm saying that this is the most disappointing is because when I first heard of it, I mean everyone on YouTube was talking about this. Like it was crazy. And then it looks really amazing like on pictures and in video, it looks amazing. Um, and even when you wear it, it just looks so pretty. It's like the perfect, perfect color. And I went crazy looking for this lipstick because at first it wasn't out here in in, in America. Um, I think it was out like in Europe first and then it came here. Um, but I couldn't find it here. So I went crazy looking for it. And I think I had found it either in ASOS.com or like somewhere else, but I think I found it and finally I was like, yay, I have it. And I wore it and it was like the most beautiful shade but then I noticed that throughout the night like it just comes off easily and it just does not long last even though hence the name long lasting it does not last long um, yeah and like it starts like wearing off right in the middle so it just looks really really hideous um, I still wear it but when I wear it, I have to make sure that I take it with me of course I mean why wouldn't you take a lipstick if you're wearing lipstick but I have to make sure that I take it with me and um, and like a napkin because like once it starts wearing off you can't just reapply it otherwise it'll just like just the quality of this lipstick is not good like you have to take off the lipstick completely and then reapply it, and it looks nice for like the first hour but it really doesn't last that long so that's why I'm saying this is the most disappointing because I went through a little crisis there looking for this lipstick I mean I was like where is this lipstick and I couldn't find it and finally when I found it it was like yay but no no okay so the next one is liner yes or no and I think I mean I wasn't a big liner person you know not too long ago I was just like eh, I don't really need liner I can I can apply the lipstick with either like a brush or something like it really doesn't make a difference but lip pencils really do make a difference the reason why i am really enjoying lip liners currently is because like when i wear even when i wear nude lipsticks like it's just the application is so much easier so what you do is you just line your lips completely um you can fill in the middle if you want i tend to do that sometimes but for the most part you don't have to because then what you can do is you just go on with the lipstick and dab it towards the middle um and it just makes the application so much easier um, and the lips they look fuller and they look um, they just look like you just perfected the lipstick and then also what I like to do is I like to grab um, concealer and I like to kind of add that on the edges a bit with the with the brush um, it just gives it a clean finish and it just your lips kind of stand out a little more yeah so definitely yes for lip liners okay, and the last one is lip gloss um i'm actually not a fan of lip gloss i hate the tacky feeling of it um but i have a few lip glosses and i really like the buxom lip glosses those are awesome but i decided to go for the nyx because i feel like n n you can't go wrong with nyx they're super cheap and they have like really really 
they have a really great selection of colors um and i just love i'm wearing right now uh this one which is the san paulo no that's not it it's this one and it just i love the texture of this one because these are supposed to be soft and matte and they sound the way they sound is just the way they are they're soft they're matte and the, the shade is really beautiful i love the shade this is one of my favorite shades um, it's just it's just a beautiful color. I, I love it. I love NYX lip glosses um, you, The great thing is you can find them pretty much anywhere um, Even in like drugstores and they just they're just really great quality they, I mean the quality is actually really good and I, I I love that they're like not tested on animals. They have like the little bunny on the packaging. I love that um, And just NYX like Guys, you make really great lip glosses. No, seriously, I'm like obsessed with um, currently NYX lip glosses. I'm loving them. Um, and then for a little extra, I kind of threw something in there. I just want to be, be in today's Memorial Day. I thought it'd be fun if I threw this um, limited edition MAC lipstick. This is, I believe, the Sailor. Sailor, I think it's just Sailor, but it could be Sailor something else. Um, this was a collection, I think, two years ago. And this is in the shade C'est La Vie. And I just think this is one of my favorite shades ever. It's like the perfect orange. And um, especially now that the summer is coming, I am definitely going to be wearing more orange and red and just really fun colors. But this is like, I love this lipstick. And I think there's a few dupes by MAC with this shade. I think like, um, the So Shod, I think it's a good do for this, but it, I think the So Shod is like more matte. It is matte. Um, and this is like uh, a luster, I think. No, it's satin. But it's a really, really beautiful shade. I love this lipstick and I've used a bit, not that much, because it is one of my favorite uh, lipsticks. I like to treasure my lipsticks. Um, it's kind of gross to think that I've had it for two years, but it still smells good. and. The lipstick texture is just how it was when I bought it and the packaging is really cute. Alright guys, so that was my lipstick addict tag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be posting more videos um, regularly, at least every week. Um, my lighting is pretty horrible because I started filming late in the day, so the sun's kind of gone by now. But. Um, yeah, so again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you soon.